Hello to everybody. Today I'm talking about exploring astrology and tarot and I'm talking about the major arcana. Astrology and tarot stands as pillars of ancient wisdom, offering seekers profound insights into the mysteries of the universe and the human psyche. At the heart of tarot lies the major arcana, a collection of 22 cards that embody archetypal energies and universal truth. Also, astrology delves into the cosmic dance of planets and stars, mapping out the blueprint of one's destiny through birth chart and celestial alignments. The major arcana cards serve as key of unlocking the deeper layers of consciousness and spiritual growth. Each card represents a significant life lesson or milestone, symbolizing the seeker's journey from ignorance to enlightenment. From the full sleep of fate to the world completion, the major arcana cards tell a story of transformation and self-discovery, mirroring the seeker's quest for meaning and fulfillment. By exploring these cosmic connections, Seekers can deepen their understanding of the tarot and gain valuable insights into their astrological influences. So let's go through each major arcana to understand what it's all about. The Fool represents new beginnings, innocence and spontaneity, and also courage. Linked with Uranus, the planet of revolution and innovation, the Fool embodies the spirit of adventure and the desire for freedom and individuality. The Magician. Magician symbolizes manifestation, willpower and creativity. Corresponding with Mercury, the planet of communication and intellect, the Magician harnesses the power of the mind to manifest dreams into reality. The High Priestess represents intuition, mystery and inner wisdom, aligned with the Moon, the luminary of emotions and the subconscious mind, the High Priestess delves into the depth of the psyche and unveils hidden truth. The Empress it embodies fertility, nurturing and abundance, associated with Venus, the planet of love and beauty, the Empress radiates grace and compassion, nurturing growth and creativity. The Emperor signifies authority, stability and leadership. Linked with Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, the Emperor exudes confidence and strength, guiding with courage and determination. The Hierophant represents tradition, conformity and spiritual guidance, corresponding with Taurus, the sign of stability and material security. The Hierophant offers wisdom and mentorship rooted in tradition. The Lovers symbolize partnerships, choices and union. Aligned with Gemini, the sign of duality and communication, the Lovers explore the complexities of relationships and the integration of opposites. The Chariot embodies willpower, determination, and victory. Linked with cancer, the sign of emotions at home, the chariot rides the waves of change with strength and resilience. Justice represents fairness, balance, and accountability. Corresponding with Libra, the sign of harmony and justice, justice seeks equilibrium and integrity in all matters. The Hermit symbolizes introspection, solitude and wisdom, associated with Virgo, the sign of service and analytical thinking. The Hermit seeks enlightenment through inner reflection and self-discovery. Wheel of Fortune signifies destiny, cycles and opportunities. is linked with Jupiter, the planet of expansion and luck. The Wheel of Fortune invites seekers to embrace change and live the moment. Strength represents courage, inner strength and resilience, corresponding with Leo, the sign of creativity and self-expression. Strength harnesses the power of the heart to overcome challenges and conquer fear. The hanged man symbolizes surrender, sacrifice and spiritual awakening. Aligned with Neptune, the planet of illusion and transcendence, the hangman embraces surrender as a path of enlightenment. Death 
signifies transformation, endings, and rebirth, associated with Scorpio, the sign of regeneration and intensity. Death invites seekers to release the past and embrace new beginnings. Temperance embodies balance, moderation, and harmony. Linked with Sagittarius, the sign of expansion and optimism, temperance blends opposing forces to find inner peace. The devil represents bondage, materialism, and temptation. Corresponding with Capricorn, the sign of ambition and discipline, the devil exposes the chains of ego and invites seekers to break free from limiting beliefs. The tower signifies upheaval, revelation, and liberation. Associated with Mars, the planet of action and aggression, the tower demolishes structures built on false foundations, paving the way for transformation. The star embodies hope, inspiration, and renewal. Aligned with Aquarius, the sign of innovation and humanitarianism, the star shines brightly, guiding seekers toward a brighter future. The moon represents intuition, dreams, and the subconscious mind, corresponding with Pisces, the sign of imagination and spirituality. The moon illuminates the hidden realms of the psyche, unveiling mysteries and secrets. The sun, symbolizing vitality, optimism, and alignments, associated with the sun, the source of life and consciousness. The sun radiates warmth and vitality, illuminating the path to the self-realization. Judgment signifies redemption, awakening a spiritual rebirth, linked with Pluto, the planet of transformation and regeneration. Judgment calls seekers to embrace their true selves and embark on a journey of self-discovery. The world represents completion, fulfillment and worldness. Corresponding with Saturn, the planet of structure and discipline, the world celebrates achievement and mastery, marking the culmination of the seeker's journey. Now, think about your life. In which stage are you? Which is the arcana that you are in right now? You can put on the table all the major arcanas, the 22 cards, and look at them paying attention and try to choose one and to see which is the best arcana that reveal your present in which stage you are of evolution. I am waiting your questions and comments down below. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye bye.